Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we have a very exciting device to uh, show you. We have the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Now this device uh, was announced uh, probably a month back in China and this has the world's largest uh, camera sensor on a smartphone. So that's the speciality of this device. It's one inch sensor and uh, this is the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Now uh, we have got this device uh, from Xiaomi. We in fact, we had attended uh, one of of their photography workshop in Pondicherry and this device was uh, showcased to us and given us uh, for testing. Now while this device may not uh, come to India, now the important thing about this device uh, is uh, Xiaomi's uh, partnership with Leica and how the Leica's uh, co-engineered cameras have improved uh, the camera performance on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. So that's the main purpose of this showcase and we have been using this device for like past 4-5 uh, days and uh, these are our first impressions of this device. While we can't do a full review because the software is not a global variant it's a purely Chinese variant because this device has been launched only in China it's there is no global availability for this device but we'll be focusing more on the camera aspect and how the Leica partnership has helped Xiaomi to master the camera and what is in store for Xiaomi devices coming up in future with the Leica partnership so let's get st started with uh, uh, the first impressions of the Xiaomi 12 S Ultra while we have the full box with it we have not going for the unboxing because you might have seen a lot of unboxings up on YouTube already so we are not going into the unboxing so we'll straight away talk about my experience using the Xiaomi 12s Ultra for last five days so before getting into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's get started so here we have the device the Xiaomi 12s Ultra we have the black color with us so let's talk uh, more about this device and uh, how I felt about this device including the display uh, the performance side uh, the battery life also was uh, quite surprising we'll talk about that in a while so the Xiaomi 12s Ultra as I said before is China only so we'll be more focusing on the Leica's partnership so let's get started so this is the Xiaomi 12s Ultra so you can see here this uh, looks pretty good actually in terms of uh, build quality so first let's talk about the design aspect now one thing what is uh, common with uh, this device and Leica's camera is the finishing so you can see here it's kind of a leather the kind of finish given to this device and uh, this is almost the same look uh, what you uh, get when you buy in Leica camera so Xiaomi has tried to maintain that look and here we have a uh, large uh, rectangular or probably uh, a squarish layout with a large camera unit now this is a triple camera setup we'll come back to the camera in a while now this is the primary sensor on the side that's the one inch sensor 50 megapixel uh, one inch sensor f 1.9 aperture now in the center we have this 48 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and then at the bottom you get another telephoto lens which is a 5x optical zoom and up to 120x digital zoom and here we have the most important part of uh, this uh, device the Leica branding and uh, the Leica partnership so you can see here uh, we have the flashlight included as well so it's a large camera unit and uh, we have the Xiaomi branding as well now uh, on the right side uh, you get uh, the power and volume keys oh, that's the one the top has uh, the uh, 3.5 mm I mean in fact uh, the speaker unit and uh, this is tuned by Harman Kardon similar to the Xiaomi 12 Pro now the bottom uh, you have uh, uh, the USB Type-C port, uh, the, uh, the speaker unit, it's a dual uh, stereo speaker with Dolby Atmos and the SIM card tray is also included here. So that's the design aspect, you can see here left side does not have any openings or slot. Now what is good about this device is even though it looks uh, bulky and uh, the larger camera unit gives a feeling that it is big, but in hand feel doesn't uh, feel that heavy, although it is heavy but uh, you get a good in hand feel, it, the weight distribution uh, feels very nice and uh, looks pretty good in hand especially this textured finish uh, gives a good grip altogether on this device now on the front uh, we have uh, this um, uh, uh, beautiful uh, display now this is a uh, WQHD plus resolution display 120 Hz refresh rate and uh, this is an LTPO display and uh, we get Dolby Vision support as well so that's one of the good things about this device it's a, it's a really good and top-notch display out there now the variable uh, refresh rate allows you to uh, allows the device to go from 1 Hz to 120 hertz and that's one of the good things and it's an e5 amoled display so that makes it uh, even more better this is an amoled display and uh, there is corning gorilla glass victor support as well now you can see that uh, the sides are curved and gives a good feel altogether now the display is very crisp and vibrant especially for watching movies and uh, multimedia experience 
excellent display along with that you get dolby vision and uh, this is the adaptive sync pro as i said before and overall the display quality the touch response feels very smooth uh, on this device so display again one of the top uh, aspects of this device and we have been using this device for like uh, last five days and uh, extremely good experience with the display now next uh, let's move on to the software but we'll not be uh, talking much about the software this is powered by the miui but uh, this is the chinese rom so uh, we can't talk much about that because this is a completely entirely different version and not the global version so uh, there's no point in talking about this version because this is limited to china only so this is miui 13.0.8 and uh, we get uh, uh, android 12 as well and uh, uh, we have uh, 12 plus 3 gigabyte uh, extendable ram is there then other than that uh, we have a uh, 256 gigabyte storage if we have all the specifications mentioned here snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 a chip 4860 milliamp power battery 6.73 inches screen 3200 by 1440 uh, p resolution display and you can see the camera aspect as well 50 plus 48 plus 48 and 32 megapixel selfie camera as well so and you can see android 12 version and uh, security patch from uh, uh, i mean julia 2022 so we will not talk about uh, the software because uh, uh, this is a similar MIUI but there are a lot of additional changes so let's leave that uh, here because uh, this is the uh, Chinese uh, MIUI now talking about the performance uh, this is very good in terms of performance uh, obviously because this Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 chip and up to 12 gigabyte RAM UFS 3.1 storage support LPDDR5 RAM and uh, this has 33 percentage improved uh, CPU uh, power efficiency compared to the Snapdragon 8 gen 1 and and a 20 percentage improved AI power efficiency and also 30 percentage improved GPU power efficiency so that makes uh, the Snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 uh, a really great uh, device uh, I mean processor in terms of performance as well and uh, you get 100 percentage improved uh, thermal uh, uh, conductivity so uh, heating is reduced uh, to a great extent so that makes uh, the performance uh, a really great experience now talking about the other aspects uh, it gets IP68 water and dust resistance capabilities and uh, you get uh, immersive uh, uh, dual speakers uh, this is supporting Dolby Atmos as well NFC is there IR remote control is there Bluetooth 5.2 support the stereo speakers are tuned by Harman and Carden so that's uh, that's again uh, something which is really good now in terms of design uh, there are two colors available we have got the black color and this is called the classic uh, black it's a leather like back and verdant green is another color so you can have a look at uh, the two colors which we tried uh, we personally like the black color uh, the verdant and green is slightly um, I mean light color uh, it feels like white but uh, it's slight uh, light green probably so you can check out uh, the colors uh, right now so next let's talk about the most important aspect the cameras so we have a triple camera setup uh, we have this primary 50 megapixel uh, one inch ultra sensor it's f 1.9 aperture and uh, this has optical image stabilization and then uh, at the center we have this 48 megapixel uh, uh, ultra wide angle camera it's a 7p lens with night mode and 128 degree uh, field of view then uh, the bottom you get uh, this telephoto lens it's a 48 megapixel telephoto lens 5x optical zoom Zoom and optical image stabilization is there once again night mode is there then up to 120x uh, digital zoom is also included on this camera so that's uh, uh, the camera aspect of uh, the device now you also get a 32 megapixel selfie camera included here now the important aspect about this camera system is the Leica's partnership so you get uh, two uh, really important modes along with other options so let's uh, see that modes here so when you open the camera you can see at the top uh, uh, just uh, let's take a bit closer so if you click this you can see here two modes Leica vibrant and Leica authentic so Leica authentic is the the most uh uh, I mean a uh, true to nature uh, color tone uh, uh, of Leica it feels uh, really natural uh, looking Leica authentic now if you want to get a slightly vibrant uh, image then probably Leica a uh, vibrant uh, uh, suits probably for social sharing and uh, apart from that uh, you get additional options so uh, we have been using mostly the Leica authentic mode it is really good actually then you get the HDR mode AI mode and uh, if you go to the video recording uh, you have plenty of options you can see here 4k 60 30 fps 8 k 24 fps then uh, we have the macro video recording as well uh, then uh, movie frame settings a uh, lot of things are there you can set uh, the resolution here 
then navigate uh, the pro mode the document mode uh, portrait mode is there you can adjust the bokeh so there are different options in the portrait mode so if you click here you can see here black and white at 35 mm then uh, uh, bokeh at uh, 50 mm and uh, soft focus uh, at uh, 90 mm so different options are there uh, for the camera so these are the pro lenses available and uh, then uh, you get the night mode and uh, more options here so a lot of plenty of uh, tools are available so uh, makes it one of the really great uh, experience in terms of camera so you have plenty of options to play around with uh, you can set the aperture value uh, then uh, you can uh, see that movie frame uh, uh, then uh, the regular options and filters are also there you can see a plenty of filters are also included so that's the like a branded camera on the xiaomi 12 s ultra now we have been uh, using this camera for last five days and we have been massively impressed with the camera capabilities of this device exceptional shots are taken using the leica authentic mode and uh, uh, you get uh, plenty of options to play around especially uh, the uh, widgets uh, we'll just show you the widgets as well uh, because uh, if you press and hold the camera you get an option and I here you can see here widgets so widgets uh, uh, we have two options actually one is uh, the Leica filters so vivid black and white natural black and white so uh, uh, both uh, I mean uh, we have a Leica two options vivid and natural then uh, black and white natural and black and white high contrast so these are filters basically so you can just add to the home screen and then another option is the lenses pro lenses you can see here 50 mm then uh, 50 mm black and white 35 mm and 90 mm lenses so what we have done is we have just added them so you can see here widgets here so this is very useful so if i want to take a 50 mm just click here and uh, this is the 50 mm actually you can just directly go ahead and take the capture now if you go here this is uh, the 50 another 50 mm uh, then uh, if you want 35 mm here you go 35 mm is there similarly if you want a uh, like a uh, black and white natural looking you can go with that uh, option so these are the pro uh, widget options available in the camera now uh, while using the camera we found that uh, the uh, this camera samples came out excellent actually excellent detailing great color reproduction especially the leica authentic mode came with uh, excellent uh, sharpness levels um, uh, the portraits came out uh, to be brilliant uh, to be very honest uh, the edge detection was impressive and uh, the leica's partnership has definitely improved the camera by a big margin i would say so that's one of the good things to look forward uh, in xiaomi's cameras coming uh, to india probably we are not sure whether uh, uh, the Leica's partner devices will come to India soon but we expect uh, Leica's devices Leica partner Xiaomi uh, phones to come to India pretty soon so that's what we expect but uh, we don't have any news as of now uh, we hope uh, they bring it as soon as possible because uh, we have been using this camera and we are really impressed uh, with the camera performance so let's have a look at some of the camera samples we have taken with this uh, device so there are few samples do uh, check out all of them and do let us know what do you guys think about the camera on the Xiaomi 12 this ultra
Now talking about the battery performance, uh, we have a 4860 milliamp hour battery with 67 watt sonic charging. When we started using the device, we had uh, uh, we were a bit skeptical about uh, how the battery performance would be because it's a top notch hardware, especially when you're using camera for a long time. How would the camera last? But to our surprise, the camera uh, the battery performance was really good actually. Uh, thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 optimization, the battery life was very good actually. Even uh, with the entire day of outdoor shoot. Uh, we didn't run out of the battery uh, with uh, uh, great shooting I mean uh, we had shot videos uh, uh, then uh, camera samples low light night mode everything uh, we did and uh, and the battery life was really good on this device so that's the battery aspect uh, so overall uh, we really liked uh, the Xiaomi 12s Ultra in our brief uh, usage and we really hope uh, Xiaomi brings an equivalent device to India or even if uh, Xiaomi 12s Ultra came to India we would be really happy to see that happen and if not uh, some other device with a like a partnership uh, we are hoping uh, Xiaomi bring something uh, to India pretty soon so before uh, closing up the video we'll just uh, quickly have a comparison with the 12s ultra and the 11 uh, me 11 ultra so you can now see uh, the Xiaomi 12s ultra and uh, the me 11 ultra so you can see here in terms of size not much of a difference uh, the camera unit has been definitely increased uh, you can uh, see how the thickness of these two devices are and uh, you can have a closer look here so slightly bigger camera module here uh, when compared to the uh, 12 uh, I mean the Mi 11 Ultra you can see here thickness has been increased a bit and the, uh, the module itself is uh, bigger here compared to the uh, Xiaomi uh, 11 Ultra so both of these uh, feels very nice in hand so you can see here these are the two devices so that's the acute comparison uh, in the in hand comparison of these two devices so that was our experience with the Xiaomi 12 S Ultra overall we are really impressed with how Xiaomi has packed this camera and the overall experience also looks really great so what do you guys think about the xiaomi 12s ultra do let us know your thoughts in the comment section this is normal signing off with uh, the first impressions of the xiaomi 12s ultra hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching have a great day